Having already made a money guide in the past, which is my most popular video on the channel, there is a lot of things I missed out, and well, let's be honest here, it, it wasn't really the best. So without further ado, let's jump in on how to make the most money in GTA Online. <laughs> will be based around solo players but certain points within the video I will point out different parts where the non-solo players can do something different to the solo players. Also for each business we cover in this video I won't be going over all the nitty gritty stats and earnings to each one instead I'll be directing you in which order you should buy them and how each one operates. But, if you do want to know more advanced stats to these businesses, I've made plenty guides to each business on the channel, so I'll leave links to those in the description below. Alright, so, if you're just jumping into the game, you'll be given an option to do a tutorial. If you're just starting out and you have not played GTA Online before, then I definitely recommend you do this tutorial. It shouldn't take you longer than an hour to complete, and in this tutorial, it will guide you through the basics of GTA Online and how it works. So I definitely recommend you do it. Once you've completed the tutorial, which shouldn't have taken you too long, you're going to want to head on over to the casino and I know before you watch the comments, I am well aware that certain countries don't have access to the casino because of their country's gambling laws. If that is the case, um, don't worry, skip this part. Okay, so no, we're not here to gamble our way to glory, we're here to spin the lucky wheel. You can spin the lucky wheel every 24 hours real time and you can win certain useful rewards on here. Okay, so you've spun the wheel and your next step is to become a CEO. In order to do this, you have to own a CEO office, which for the cheapest one, Miss Bank West, you'll need $1 million. Before we do anything though, you're going to need $50,000. Reason, reason being you're going to need that $50,000 is to become a VIP and complete certain missions that have pretty decent pay. The easiest way to get this $50,000 is by completing dispatch missions within the pause menu. I recommend you go with the whatever the weekly two, uh, two times or three times events are. We do those videos on the channel every week, so that way you'll make twice the cash faster. Once you have got your $50,000, you can now register as a VIP for your interaction menu, which is M on PC, down on the D-pad on PS4, and on Xbox, your view button. Now, you're going to want to rotate between two VIP missions, which each consist of Headhunter and Sightseer. Okay, so Sightseer is going to send you around the map to collect a package after completing a simple hack. Headhunter, on the other hand, will send you around the map to kill a set of targets, which are two are stationary and two are moving. And before you do that, you're going to need a useful weapon. The one I recommend is the Micro SMG. That way you can shoot out of your vehicle, making Headhunter a lot easier. Obviously, at this point, you don't own any air vehicles, such as the Oppressor or whatnot. And these missions are especially sightseer that do require you to travel across the map. So I have an image up on screen now for most of the spawn locations for most aircrafts that where your missions should be a lot easier. Before we move on, there are two more things. When you're new to the game, you'll get two messages from two different people. One of those is from Maud. Maud will basically send you around the map every so often to collect certain bounty targets to bring back to her or kill. Once you have done this, you will unlock a stone hatchet. If you get 25 kills with it, you will be rewarded $250,000. So definitely do this one. The other contact is Unknown, who will send you a message to find hidden locations around the map. After finding them all, you will unlock a revolver. And once you get 50 headshots with that revolver, you'll be rewarded 250000 So, there you go, an easy $500,000 for around 2 hours or so of work. So definitely do these if you get these messages. Like I said at the start, I would point out certain parts for the non-solo players. Well, here we go. While the solo guys continue their process until they get to that 1 million, the non-solo guys are going to purchase a high-end apartment. 
Alta Street for $217,000. This will allow you to start heists within the game. If you do manage to complete all the heists in order, that's going to make you $2.5 million richer and now back to the solo guys. Once you have grinded those VIP missions out and you have now got your $1 million, go ahead and purchase the office and yes, I see you there, do not pile the upgrades, I know you're tempted, but it's not worth it, just go with the base office for now. Okay, you thought that was a grind, well, this is even more of a grind. Our next goal is to be able to own a vehicle warehouse in order to export vehicles and make hella cash in the process. However, the big downside is first off, the cheapest vehicle warehouse is $1.5 million. And here we go, the CEO office itself doesn't actually give you any benefits to make money. It's only required in order for you to purchase vehicle warehouse. I know, I know, sucks. And now the same process applies back to the VIP missions. However, the benefit of now owning the office means you can now be a CEO instead of a VIP. This means instead of only being able to be a VIP for four hours, you can now be a CEO for unlimited time, making that VIP mission grind a breeze. Now, if you're really not liking the continuous grind of VIP missions and you want a change of pace, then this option may be for you. Just like the non-solo players, you can always purchase a high-end apartment and do the highs to make that money faster. However, you will have to rely on randoms to help you out. And well, depends if you want to make that sacrifice, I guess. Keep in mind that when, you're, when you purchase a high-end apartment, you do have access to a 10-car garage, giving you more space for vehicles, which is always welcome. Okay. Now, however you decide to make that money, whether that's VIP missions or the heist we talked about, you are now probably at your 1.5 million stage. If not, then just keep grinding out those heists and VIP missions. Judging the fact that most people have been doing the, a lot of VIP missions up to this point, then you're probably wanting something different to do. Well, now you can. The vehicle warehouse is one of the easiest and best, best methods to make money fast and we will go over the best methods for that in a second. Now, before we start making money from the vehicle warehouse, our next step is to actually own a bunker, which in my opinion is one of the easiest businesses to run. The bunker we're aiming for is the Chumash bunker. Now you may be wondering, why not buy one of the cheapest ones at the top of the map? Well, the reason they're all at cheap is because they're all at the top of the map. You'll spend most of your grinding time traveling back and forth to, to, or to get to your bunker. That's why the Chumash one is, the, is better. As it's closest to the city, in order to get enough money for your bunker, you can now start sourcing vehicles for your new vehicle warehouse from the computer over at your office. The way this works is it will put you into a simple mission to steal a car, taking as little damage as you can, then deliver it back to your warehouse, customize it, and then sell it for more money. These vehicles are sorted into three categories, standard range, mid range, and top range. Top range is going to make you the most money, whereas standard will make you the least. However, there's a way to sort of trick the game into only giving you the top range vehicles. The way you can do this is by continuing to source cars until you have 10 standard and 10 mid in your warehouse, and don't sell any of these cars. Reason being, because when you have all 10 of each in your warehouse, the game is only going to give you top range vehicles this way you can keep keep imp importing and then exporting only top range vehicles making you tons of money in the process so only sell your top range vehicles once you keep doing this process go ahead and sell your top range vehicle and when selling always sell to the highest buyer for the more money once you have enough money for the chumash bunker go ahead and purchase it and this is where the money starts to roll in Before anything else though, our next step is to become a MC president, so we can run various MC businesses. To do this, we need $200,000 as well as $975,000 to purchase a clubhouse and a cocaine lockup. So let's jump into it. The bunker is a passive business, meaning it runs in the background, generating you money. As you can see in your bunker, there are three bars, which are stock, research, and supplies. The way this works is that your staff will use those supplies to generate product for your stock and research. Now obviously, we're here for the money and not the research, so make 
To make more money, we're going to assign all staff to manufacturing so that we can make double the money. A full stock bar is going to make you $1 million. However, this is a solo guide. It's just impossible to sell that all on your own. The reason being is because a full bar will spawn four cell vehicles, meaning you'll need three other play people to help you. Help you. So yeah, that ain't happening. So we need only one vehicle. The way to do this is by never selling when your stock bar is over a quarter of the way full, as it will spawn more than one cell vehicle. And as you can see, the supplies bar is going down as well. And you'll need to keep resupplying your bunker to keep that bar up approximately every two hours or so. Personally, I recommend you buy supplies, and I know $75,000 seems a lot, and it is, but it all works out. Seeing as though you're at your bunker every two hours or so to resupply, then while you're I, you should sell your stock as well. And just like the vehicle warehouse, obviously always sell to the highest buyer for more money. Like I mentioned, the bunk is passive, so you can literally do whatever you want, such as VIP missions, sourcing vehicles, or even heists, while your bunker simply generates money in the background. And this is why the bunker is one of the greatest money making methods. Once we have enough money for the MC Clubhouse and the cocaine lockup, whether you kept on selling your bunker or sourcing vehicles, whichever method you chose, now go ahead and buy your clubhouse for $200,000. Once over to your clubhouse, go ahead and load up your computer and purchase the cheapest cocaine lockup for $975,000. Just like the bunker, the cocaine lockup is mainly passive, however, requires a lot more than the bunker, as you will need to sell and resupply a lot more often than the bunker. So, therefore, you will need to save up in order to purchase the upgrades, staff and equipment, which, in total, should come up to around $1.4 million. Just like most businesses, there is a likelihood of your business getting raided, however, it very rarely happens enough for you to purchase a security upgrade. Just like the bunker, you'll have to resupply your cocaine factory every two hours or so. And the same thing goes with the not selling over a quarter of the way. From there on, you'll want to keep continuing this process over and over. And you have enough money for the counterfeit cash factory and meth lab. And then upgrade those as well as your bunker too, when you have the money for it. And from this point on, you're now up to the very last step. <laughs> Believe it or not, the final business is the nightclub, and yes, it is a business. See, the way the nightclub works is you have an underground warehouse where the warehouse generates product from your other businesses to make money for your nightclub. Confusing? Yeah, I know, allow me to explain. At this point, you shouldn't really have trouble with money and therefore just buy the more expensive nightclub, as well as all the necessary upgrades along with it. There are two ways to make money with the nightclub. The first is through the nightclub's popularity bar. The way this works is that the more people that pay to come into your nightclub will increase your earnings to your wall save, but that only happens when the popularity bar isn't empty. The second way is through the underground warehouse. Now, for the popularity, in my opinion, just don't bother with it, because at the end of the day, the money you'll earn from it, at the end, it just isn't worth it. Okay, so once on your computer, Forget the top three tabs, they, they don't, they all use this, they don't need to care about those. The one we care about is the warehouse management. Now, bear with me because there's a lot of confusing things here. We have up to five technicians to buy, and the more technicians you have, the more money you'll earn. The whole concept is to apply certain technicians to certain products. So basically, the more technicians you own, the more you can assign to certain products and the more money you're going to make. Now, each product is one of your businesses. For example, if I have one technician applied to South American imports, I will be signing him to cocaine, if that makes sense. So far, every business we own is the most valuable in terms of money-making production for the nightclub. So if we were to assign all five technicians to each business, as well as purchasing the equipment upgrade for free $1.3 million, you're basically never going to worry about money in GTA Online ever again. As you have seen, there is only one bar in the nightclub, which is product, meaning all you have to do is sell. That's it. And this is why the nightclub is the best and easiest business to run. <laughs> I know, that's a lot to take in. But if you go through each step, 
and understand everything you have to do, you'll be a millionaire in no time. And you'll be able to buy whatever you want, like literally. So that's it for this video. This took forever to make. So if you want to consider subscribing down below, we're on the road to 100 subs. I say this a lot. We're on the road to 100 subs. And anyone's support would be amazing. Anyway, guys, I will see you guys when I see you guys. Take care. Have a good day. And I'll see everyone in my next video. Points! Oh, oh, oh.